we don't just have a great panel here with Mo Sheik, uh, the co-founder of Aptos Labs, but we also got Sergey back with us. You just had him out here, but a huge announcement to kick this panel off to dig into a partnership that is the first for any move programming language ecosystem. Mo, I'll let you uh, share the news first. Thank, thanks, Zach, and Sergey, good to have you here on the stage. Join me as well, um, and th thank you all for coming. Um, pretty exciting day for us, right? Like um, Sergey and I, we got together over some of my deep Russian roots uh, recently. And we were just, we were talking about how do you really expand um, and, and bring all these protocol ecosystems together. And the beauty of this sort of collaboration that I want to announce today is Chainlink and Aptos are going to be partnering to bring the EVM and the Aptos world closer together through a deep integration. Um, and so we're excited to announce that today. And what that really does for the ecosystem is it brings all the amazing Aptos uh, uh, infrastructure available for the Ethereum developers that have been excited about things. And for us, that's really valuable. You know, I started off my career in the Ethereum ecosystem, really going deep into what are the world of possibilities and often ran into challenges around infrastructure being able to scale and support these visions. Together now, all those uh, projects, all those founders can take deep advantage of the Aptos stack and we're going to be able to do that together. So I'm, I'm excited about that. But, you know, Sergey, maybe a question for you. You know, like, where is sort of Chainlink in this view of multi-protocol support? And how are you thinking about uh, thinking about things? Yeah, so I, I think there are d definitely chains that have certain advantages. Like, for example, the advantage of Aptos, I think, is move and, and the scalability of that language and the massive throughput of the amount of transactions that can happen there. And I know the history of Move and it came out of Facebook and it was built by really thoughtful engineers, very uh, kind of thoughtfully to be efficient and scalable. And scalability is one of the key pillars. And also it has certain very attractive security properties. So I think there is difference, uh, a difference between chains. I think the other uh, big thing is that the Aptos community already has a lot of good tooling. And I do see a good amount of DeFi and other protocols looking to restate themselves or re-implement themselves and move in the Aptos community. The, the world that I see for, for interoperable blockchains is that there will be certain chains that have kind of a main contract that can run efficiently, and then there will be lots of other chains where that contract wants to reach out and use the contracts on those other chains as a storefront to receive money, as a way to provide value, maybe to use another smart contract that provides a service on that chain. And so the way that we've built that in CCIP is through something called programmable token transfers, where you can actually trigger the usage of another chain from um, an initial source chain, right? And so I think the chains that are more secure, more scalable, able to provide the developer tooling that, that their ecosystem of developer needs will be the place where the better versions of smart contracts end up getting built. And as they end up getting built, the liquidity will still be fragmented across many different places. And connecting that liquidity back to those smart contracts on those chains will be critical for their success. So on the one hand, I'm, I'm really thrilled that we're part of the Aptos ecosystem now and excited to provide great tooling to all the developers that we see there and migrating and growing there. And on the other hand, I'm very excited for those developers to build big, useful applications and then to connect those applications through CCIP to all the different sources of liquidity that's going to help make them successful. Yeah, and Mo, I'm, I'm kind of curious too what this does to the Aptos ecosystem in, in adding some of what Chainlink now enables for you guys. Uh, wh what's kind of like the big thing that you're excited about from joining? Yeah, so uh, I think on this partnership where Move is going to be the only, uh, the only Move implementation for Chainlink is around having things uh, that you just talked about available immediately to the developers in the Aptos ecosystem. And so, you know, along the lines of, you know, protocols like um, uh, Thala, Merkle, and others that are flourishing within Aptos, now they can be more collaborative with liquidity that exists within other ecosystems. And so that's very valuable for Aptos. Um, and so we expect a, you know, a, a growth in TVL. So that's something that's uh, going to be very beneficial, uh, as you pointed out. The other thing I think it does is, you know, all those Ethereum developers that have been you know, sitting on the sidelines, excited about Move, excited about Aptos, now have you know, some of the same tooling made available to them to get them up and running. And so you know, this is a very sort of powerful collaboration between two uh, sort of uh, separate ecosystems that can now build together and really move the Web3 ecosystem forward. Yeah, and powerhouses, I should say, in terms of your guys' teams and what you've been able to build. 
Uh, what does this do, though? I mean, so many people are now talking about connecting with TradFi and capital markets. Uh, when you have this type of technology now and this tooling through this partnership, what does it do uh, for, I guess, adding access to capital markets now in Optos using Chainlink's tech? So, you know, I, I come from the world of uh, traditional finance. And um, when I was at BlackRock, we imagined a world where interconnected assets would lead to a lot more efficiency. And you can now finally start to do that because you have protocols that can support the throughput that's required for these large institutions and capital market systems uh, to, to migrate on chain. Yeah, I mean, you were just on stage talking, talking about the, the, the collaboration with someone like Swift. These different protocols existed in disparate and disconnected systems that had to want eventually get connected. Now, you know, we finally have technology that can, you know, house all these use cases in one environment, making it far more transparent and more efficient. And so that's something that we're incredibly excited about uh, for Aptos kind of moving this forward. And we'll be able to do that together with, with the Chainlink team too. Yeah, so I think you need a scalable chain that provides strong security guarantees. And I think Move provides that in, you know, very large ways in the, in the current way that it works. And I think there's even more growth in how they're optimizing the language and everything. So there's even more scalability and security that they'll be able to generate based on some of those core assumptions. And then I think that generally institutions are going to look at what are the contracts and what are the assets and what are the things they can access on a chain. And I think Chainlink is now at the epicenter of the real world asset trend because there's independent analysis that shows it's the most widely used technology for real world asset uh, generation and all these kind of other advanced things. And then also Chainlink is, uh, I think at this point, the most integrated system, cross chain system and native integration system for capital markets. So what's, what's happening is all of the banks, asset managers, different infrastructures that we're working with that you see us publicly working with, some of which you don't see us publicly working with yet because it's not announced all of their systems and value will uh, eventually be integrated into CCIP and Chainlink. And then that'll, that'll just be another set of chains with client accounts and stable coins and liquidity that will want to interact with a scalable, secure, reliable chain like Aptos to interact with the high quality assets and protocols there. So I think it's both the connectivity for Aptos across various public chains and it's the data of Chainlink in the computational, like Chainlink just has a ton of different developer tools that are critical to launching a secure DeFi protocol. And it's a hard requirement for many DeFi protocols to go to another chain. Yeah. And then there's the capital market side where I think Chainlink is now getting in the same position of being able to allow user usership of your chain through those integrations with those systems. That's pretty exciting. And I, I know you've been on stage now for quite some time. So I know contractually, we're not allowed to keep you up on stage any longer, but we did want to start the panel off with a big announcement. So Sergey Nazarov, co-founder of Chainlink. Thank you. Thank you, Mocha.